Suspects were able to break the bulletproof window, gain entry into the Gold Coast market, taking what they wanted and fleeing, thus leaving the business owners. And then the first time around, they scoped the place and then they came back around. Three cars, nine guys. And these guys were in here for about 12 minutes and then not even including like uh, the time it took to break the window. Over the past few weeks, Chicago has experienced a dramatic surge in smash and grab robberies. These incidents have escalated at an alarming rate, creating concern among residents and businesses alike. Today, I'm going to be investigating this and finding out what business owners are doing to respond to this and also if the citizens of Chicago are really concerned about this. Let's get straight to it. What is up, everyone? We are back with another video. We're in Chicago right now and, um, you know, we're going to be interviewing Haney. He's the owner of Gold Coast Cafe and Gold Coast Market. And we're going to get his perspective on everything. You know, why there's crime surges and, you know, his store has been broken into, I'm pretty sure, like twice in the past like week, which is, first of all, insane. But let's try and get to the bottom of this and figure out why this is happening and what we can do to prevent it. The rack gets treacherous out here. So, yeah, let's go. Now, I think, I think the crime's going up in Chicago because the parking is so goddamn expensive. I'm here at the one and only. What's up, man? It's Hani Falasin Hurra reporting live from the Gold Coast. So what's been going on the past, what, two weeks? You know, um, Chicago has this uh, this thing, uh, this type of crime that I don't think it's really anywhere else but Chicago. Um, they, they call it, you know, smash and grabs, where a group of bums, you know, get in stolen cars and they drive around and, and do what homeless bum people do and break into people's small businesses and, and steal from them. Uh, maybe looking for crack, I don't know. But you know, um, it's just been, it's been pretty fucking crazy to be honest uh, that you know, these people can go around and just like smash up businesses and, and, and steal from businesses and there's no consequences from law enforcement. I mean, as, as you can see right now, you got the place boarded up, glass. We got hit, what, twice in the past two weeks, right? Yeah, July 11th we were hit, and uh, just y yesterday morning at 3.30 in the morning, uh, we were also hit. They, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, shit, bro. You know, we got, you know, these, these like, you know, crackhead bums going around just stealing from businesses. How does this, like, affect you as a business owner? Um, It doesn't affect me at all. Okay. I mean, you know, everything is replaceable. We can continue on and, and, and move forward with our life and our business. Uh, these crackheads uh, can't, you know, these crackheads have to result into stealing. I mean, my way of life is different and, you know, I work for mine and I've earned mine. I think they need to start letting, you know, small businesses enforce their stand your ground laws. We have the right to stand our ground and we have the right to fucking blow their brains off. That was a chase right now as we're doing the interview, bro. Protest. Anything you want to add? I mean, look, there's enough jobs out there. Uh, there's enough rehab centers out there for these young guys to go get, you know, a rehabilitation. You know, I know they have some addictions that they need to work on. Um, and, you know, and there's jobs, you know, go get, go to rehab, meet yourself for like two, three weeks and get a job like a normal person, earn your money. There's more value in that. You know what? It actually it'll last longer you know when these guys steal from businesses they take the, this, the, these inventories and they, they cluck them off like crackheads to to anyone that's willing to pay anything if you get a job you have consistent yeah. income you know this shit ain't going this ain't this ain't the way to to live who am i here today with aj do you feel the city of chicago is safe not really uh, i mean i'm from chicago so i know all the yeah. ins and outs about it but it's like it's Chicago's weird. Like it feels safe, but you know it's not safe. What advice would you give to people like moving to Chicago? Just always be aware. I mean, when I walk around, I always look over my shoulder. I look left and right. I'm not paranoid, but I'm just aware. You know what I mean? Would you recommend that someone moves to Chicago? Yeah, I think it's a very safe city. Just like anywhere on earth, you gotta have your wits about you. You gotta yeah. don't go down dark alleys late at night. But I mean, I come from San Diego, where it's a very yeah clean and safe space and i've never really felt like i've ever been in danger here okay in any sort of situation i've been here for the better part of a decade so wow. um, and um you think there's like a stereotype going around that like chicago's the most dangerous city all this yeah, yeah all the time you see yeah. it all the time on internet reddit youtube regardless people always want to talk about how the murder rates are soaring here but i think that you know, if you look at a statistics perspective, we're not even top 20 in the United States for murders. There's places like Baltimore, um, 
can't name off the top of my head, but there's quite a lot of cities that have way higher murder rates in Chicago. Certain media outlets, I'm not gonna name names, but uh, definitely portray Chicago in a yeah. bad light. Yeah, and then um, in your decade of living here, have you ever been robbed or know someone who's been robbed? Or anything of that nature? I know people who have, but me personally, no. You know, I just try not to put myself in situations that I think could put me in danger or peril like that, and I think it's yeah. taken me a long way so far. Uh, do you feel safe in Chicago? Honestly, I think the problem in Chicago is there's still a lot of segregating of neighborhoods. And I think that if there's a lot less of that behind the scenes keeping people separate, uh, there'll be more commonality and you'll see less dangers. And actually, going off of what you said, Chicago is the number one uh, most segregated city in the U.S. Do you find that surprising? Um, I feel it, but I had no idea there was a way to quantify it. Right, who am I here today with? This lean, bro. Erica. Would you recommend that people move to Chicago? Um, I say yes. I know they want to say no because it has got bad and things seem like it got out of hand, but they re a lot of the areas and Oh, I feel like a lot of that violence ain't gonna spill over to those areas. So I feel like it's still hope. It's yeah. still hope. I would say yes because it's a lot of opportunity, especially if you're an entrepreneur. So I feel like this would be a good space to start. If you do hair, if you do makeup, if you do clothes, if you're artsy, like I feel like Chicago would be the spot. And uh, you guys like overall feel safe in Chicago living here? Yeah, I feel safe for okay. sure. Um, it's pros and cons to everything, you know what I'm saying? And I know it could be unsafe at times, but right now I'm walking with my lady, just enjoying a nice day. I feel like I'm okay, but I won't go to certain areas feeling like that. But right now downtown, I do feel safe, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there's safe areas still in Chicago. I think there's like a stereotype about Chicago, like, oh, it's so dangerous. Exactly. I feel like it's it's more of a stereotype. I feel like if you if you go into work, you mind your business, you got good friends, you ain't gonna run into that bad side, you know? Yeah. Hopefully, that's how I feel, and yeah. that's how I am. I don't really mesh with that side because the people I surround myself with and the things that I'm planning to do just don't involve, you know, no bull crap, so I don't, I don't get yeah. into that whirlwind. Everywhere is dangerous, you know? It's just, it's what you make it. It's, what, it's, it's just literally what you make it. So if you, yeah. if you surround yourself by positive people, you'll be in a, a positive environment. If you surround yourself around you know, negativity, that's what you're gonna, that's gonna be your outcome. So it's just all about what you make. Do you think Chicago is safe? Down here, yes, where I'm from, not really. Okay. Yeah. Um, you think there's like a little stereotype going around, like Chicago is dangerous, don't move here? Yeah, so I went to school in college for, in Indiana. Yeah. And talking to people over there, they were looking at me like, you shouldn't be alive right now. Yeah. I was looking at them like, it's not that crazy, you know what yeah. I mean? It's not that yeah. serious. It kind of depends on where you're from or like what area you live in. Yeah. This is a different world, I feel like, from oh, like, sure. from like yeah, yeah, from the, just from the neighborhoods, this yeah. is not really like that. And then uh, what would you tell someone who's trying to move to Chicago? What, what advice would you give them? Be very open. Look out for all the opportunities. Talk to people. There's a lot of talent here. There's a lot of intelligent people here. There's a lot of people that just need a chance. Uh, give them that chance, and you probably could have a good ass time. I feel Hell like. yeah. Say it with your chest. I'ma touch it in by Feb. Uh, I'ma pull it with the boys. We gon' get them. This shit pisses me the f off. Like, I, no, no funny shit. Like, not for the camera, bro. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't know what type of luck I have, bro. Park Chicago, you're hoeing me. Like, what's going on? Why the f did I get a ticket, bro? Why the f Here, here. Get this shit. Bro, this, this is. Ain't even funny anymore. I, I'm, I'm about to do some ditty shit right here. Fuck. Can you get it? Bro. I know, bro. <laughs> yeah, what it's the some fuck? Bullshit, There's some bro. bullshit. There's some bullshit. I appreciate you, man. Don't worry about it. <sighs> fuck, man. Let's see what they. Let's see what they hoeing us about today, man. They said, um, talking about some uh, contractor expired meter, seventy dollars. Does it look like I'm paying that? Shit? No. In the sand till I'm proving guilty, I don't know nothing. This shit like enrages me, bro. Like, you know how like, you know, in the streets, you know, like people have ops. My op is this, bro. My op is fucking the uh, the city of Chicago, I guess, bro. Like the people, whoever gives out these tickets, those are my, I'm not paying $70. <laughs> bro, $70 right on my paycheck, bro. 
You think my parents are gonna pay this? Nah, bro. They're gonna be like, this shit coming out of your money. Seventy dollars, bro. That's a whole feed post on fucking Instagram, bro. That's a whole. That's an article. That's a Spotify playlist placement and a reel. Man, this shit makes no fucking sense, bro. I, I, I could really crash out over the seventy dollars right now. And you, you take L's. This is a lesson, man. You take L's, but like Big Sean, you just gotta bounce back.